So I'm standing here at my place. I'm feeding the cows, steers, and um, it's actually a beautiful night out. But I'm gonna show you guys something. So sitting in front of me is a yard hydrant, and I'm gonna show you guys something that I might have mentioned in the past, but I haven't really done a whole video on dedicated to this. So this uh, this hydrant is down here by the steer lot, and uh, just below the bin. It's quite a distance away from the house. We got a uh, water water for the cows right there. And this one hasn't been used in a while, so I'm going to show you guys something. Yeah, it's kind of tight. Okay, now we sit and wait. So here we got the water that's a tint of red. Oh, there it turned pretty good color red. It's actually like a brown. But what this is, is ochre. Um, it's basically just rust that is in, in the pipeline. The ochre is in the ground in this area. So let's say we were to dig another well, maybe half mile that way. Uh, we would still have this problem because one of the houses over there I know has, has this issue. But what it is, is just rust in the ground. It's ochre, iron oxide, and you can't get away from it. It's something that you have to condition out of your water. Pretty good color red. You have to condition it out of your water. And what I have in the house is a conditioner that filters out the water, filters out the, the ochre, and uh, that way you can use your water for inside the house. It's kind of a pain because you have to either purchase or rent a conditioner. And I rent one. Uh, it's about like 50 bucks a month to rent. And it keeps the water in the house clean. And when it doesn't keep the water in the house clean, it can look like this. That's usually when you give them a call and complain. If I were to taste this, it would taste like rust. It would actually taste like kind of like blood because of the rust. But um, it, the water is drinkable as it is. I would personally wait until it came a little more clear, like it is now. It's not as bad. But um, when you drink the water, it kind of makes you feeling like it doesn't quench your thirst. And uh, it won't kill you, but you know, it's really not healthy to drink the, the really bad stuff. So that is ochre. It's rust in your lines. And over time, these can cause havoc in your house. Um, we had copper piping in this house for over probably 30 years. And when my parents moved into this house, um, there was, the copper lines were, I don't know if they were like a half inch thick, but the ochre and the rust inside them had collected so much that there was only about that big a space in a pipe about that big that allowed the water through. So there's not all that good of water pressure in the house. But we went through and we'd put PVC piping in the bottom of the house, or CPV, CPVC, and uh, it solved that problem. But uh, yeah, when we first moved in here, the water pressure in the house was miserable. Like you can hardly like wash your hands with it. It was that bad. So um, yeah, that is ochre in your lines.